fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Welcome to the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia for the Spanish Grand Prix. Over the next few minutes, the teams will be heading out onto this classic Formula One track for what we're expecting to be a very hectic practice session. We can see, of course, plenty of activity in the garages as we wait for the green light to get this session underway. Anthony Davidson, thank you for joining me once again. What are you going to be looking out for once the cars get out there on the circuit today? Well, naturally, in any free practice session, you can never be sure exactly what programmes the teams are running, how much fuel they've put in and so on. So it's important to resist the temptation to draw any firm conclusions from the fastest times on the monitor. What we can do, however, is look for consistent pace over the course of multiple laps. So if someone does half a Grand Prix distance and they're consistently half a second quicker than another driver doing the same, then that's generally a good indicator of a car with a solid race pace. Hey guys, my name is Gaming, and today I'm back with another video and today I'm back with part 5, my safe in random career mode and it's the turn of the Spanish Grand Prix which, uh, yeah, hopefully we can have a better result than we did last time if you didn't, go, if you didn't watch that video, go and have a watch now uh, before you see this, um, but yeah, spoiler alert, I'm not saying why, I'm not sure why I'm saying spoiler alert, no one watches these videos anyway because I'm a sad little YouTuber, but um, yeah, it was an a, abysmal, abysmal race, it was god awful, but here we are in Spain, which should be a lot better than uh, Azerbaijan. I know there's a long straight, um, but there's also fast corners, which should shoot, uh, suit our car a little bit more. Um, but yeah, all we can do is look up. You can't really get worse. Second to last place is not really hard to beat. But anyway, Spain, in practice, we stay on um, quite a few laps on the medium tyres just to get used to them. See how, like, if we can do a one-stop maybe with them. Uh, I doubt we can. But it, we come P12 on the medium tyres uh, and qualifying with 123.8. Which, if this was like 2014, that would actually be a pretty, re well, really, really good uh, lap. But it's not, so that's a pretty shocking lap. A uh, teammate actually went a lot, f well, was in the top six, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, the real times come in qualifying, which is where we're going to be going in just a second, but... Daniel Ricardo actually Alonso was second, but that's because he was on the uh, suit the fastest tyres with a 122.5. But let's go to qualifying for the Spanish Grand Prix and see where we can get. Today's qualifying session is about to start here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, and what a cracker of a session we're expecting it to be. Looking at this field today, Ants, do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance, maybe run the harder of the available compounds and save some of the grippy tyres for the race tomorrow? Well, I'd be surprised in all honesty. It's only the front runners that really have the pace to get away with that. And even then, at the end of the day, it's a big risk. Track position is the most important thing, and it's rarely worth sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race. So I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it. I have been wrong before, though. We certainly do see some risky decisions every now and then, and it's a gamble that's sometimes worth taking. But if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. So here we are, at coming to the end of our lap in Q1. Uh, we've, got a little bit, we've got a little bit of traffic in front of us, it didn't really hold us up too much. It gave us a tad bit dirty air, oh, like a tad little bit of dirty air, but not too much. But up to the line, we're going to go, we're going to go fastest. I was, you can see how happy I was with that. We went fast with 120.6, uh, and in the qualifying one, though, we have, we've only dropped down to fourth. That is a very, very good lap time, in my opinion, uh, for this McLaren at least. Anyway, uh, uh, Fernando Alonso got through, but uh, Ericsson, Harley Stroll, Ocon, and Sorokin are the ones out. But let's go into Q2. Ocon was a bit of a shock there, to be honest. Um, in Q2, we've got more traffic at the end of our lap, which is fucking annoying. I can tell you now, Leclerc hold us, held us up. A Quite a lot during this lap. That's why it's going to be such a slow lap as we go on the grass to finish our lap anyway. So yeah, we set 122.2, which is two seconds nearly slower. But we're going to go on to one more lap time, and this is our start of our lap time. We've got clean air just in front of us, so hopefully it should be a massive improvement. Uh, currently P14, so we really, really need to improve. We need to gain four positions uh, to get through. But in the end of the first sector, a couple of attempts up. 
I'm pretty sure it says two temps anyway. I'm not really sure. I don't know if uh, we've actually moved up to P13. I swear it was P14 just a second ago. I don't really know. Uh, but Fernando Alonso, I'm not sure where he is. We've dropped down to P14 going to the end of the lap. But around the last corner, a second up. Are we going to be able to get through into Q3? ERS is finished. We're up to the line. We go P4 once again. Which is fantastic. Which is right there. I know that AI aren't really going their full potential, the, like the top runners. But still, that is a very, very good result. Unfortunately, us going through pushes Fernando Alonso out. So, yeah, he's out. So is Grosjean, Leclerc, Gasly and Perez. Which the, the, the two Force Indias are having an abysmal race. Uh, as it stands. It's going to feel weird not saying Fernando Alonso in these career modes. It's been every single career mode I've done has been in. But this is a, a first run in Q2. A Q3 actually. So it's going to be a very, very slow run, I feel. Look, we're only a, Actually, it might not be that bad. Rai can set a 119. But we was 1.4 seconds slower as we set a 121 dead. Which is... It's not really that fast of a lap time. It could be a lot faster. Uh, but we didn't. But we're going to go on to our last... Um, our only... Well... Our last flying lap in Q3. We did have a really bad exit out of the chicane, so that's why we're going red. But into turn one, we should be able to gain some time back as we go over the green curb. And um, we get this little... Like, we had a really bad exit, I feel. But we actually managed to gain time, so I'm not really sure what happened there. This is flat out. Normally it is anyway. Some uh, Sometimes I lift off, sometimes I don't. It depends on what line I take. But this is the next corner. You only have to, you only have to tap on the brakes on these new 2018 cars. Uh... This is a corner that I struggle with quite a lot. I always like on well, 2017. I always used to like go onto that green, like the gravel. I'm not sure why it just happened. This corner is an auto spin corner. If you go all the way on, if you get more than like if you get three wheels on there, you're going to spin a little bit. You lose the back end. That that, that corner's flat out, uh, which is fine. We're currently P9. Magnussen's behind us. He had an almighty, like dreadful race last time out in Azerbaijan. That corner is also an auto spin corner. Kimi Raikkonen sets a 119.4. We're not going to be anywhere near that because we're set a 121 dead and we're not even. We're not. Well, we're not a second faster. Well, we, we need to be 1.6 seconds faster. The chicane. Easy to lose a lot of time there. Go Easy to go wide on the exit as well if you ride the curbs too much. That could end your race. Uh, but the ERS is out. Yeah, we're currently P10, but we go over the line and I think that's P7. I'm going to look at the steering wheel. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm very, very happy with that qualifying. Uh, I'm really happy with that qualifying, but yeah, uh, we managed to beat the two Renaults, uh, also uh, Magnussen, two Force Indias, our teammate. We basically come best of the rest uh, by two temps. I'm pretty sure that's actually really, really good in McLaren. I think anyway. I'm not sure you guys watching probably do a lot better laps than I can, but I'm not really that good at F1 games to be honest. Uh, it's not my forte. But yeah, I'm looking at the Drivers' Championship. We, if we get ahead of Perez, who's had a really bad quality, we'll be best of the rest in the Championship, which I think is fantastic news. So hopefully that can happen. Hopefully our teammate can get in the points as well. It's his home Grand Prix. Um, I doubt we can win, because he's, he's not in a Mercedes or a Ferrari. Uh, but hopefully he can get points for this home Grand Prix. His last ever home Grand Prix, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I think... The race, are, it, it, it should be a good race. But speaking of which, let's go into that race. So I'm going to hand you over to David Croft and Alfie Davison for the analysis just before the race. Welcome to the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, here in Spain for what is expected to be a very closely contested race. The circuit de Barcelona Catalunya then, a high speed 2.89 mile circuit which demands an efficient downforce package and bravery on the part of the driver, especially through the blind right of turn nine, which we might just see taken flat this weekend. So as we look ahead to what I hope will be a very entertaining race, I have to ask, Anthony Davidson, what do you expect to see in terms of strategy today? I mean, do you expect a lot of tyre management? A lot of fuel management? Well, don't we always? I don't expect these are going to be any more important than usual, if I'm honest. But what I do expect, however, are a lot of drivers getting into the pits early for some kind of undercut on fresh rubber. 
If you can pit before the person in front, have a good stop and drive a blistering outlap, there may be one or two seconds to be gained. If anyone gets stuck behind another car, for example, that will be the go-to strategy, surely. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Kimi Raikkonen starts today from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Van Dorn, Sainz, Hülkenberg, and Kevin Magnussen, Alonso, Grosjean, Charles Leclerc, and Gasly, Perez, Ericsson, Brendan Hartley, and Lance Stroll, Ocon, and Sergei Sorotkin rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So here we are on the grid ahead of the Spanish Grand Prix. Can we start on the super soft tyres? Uh, no, it's the fast tyre around this track, I'm pretty sure anyway. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going to be underfueling the car by quite a lot. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not quite a lot. We're pretty much equal on terms with uh, with the fuel for the amount of laps. Uh, it's going to be a two-stop strategy. Uh, super soft, soft, softs. Uh, which is going to be fantastic. Like, that's better than using the mediums because the mediums are quite they're quite good but I mean we want to be faster than AI if any AI during the one stop then yeah they're not they're probably gonna be behind us uh, we're gonna go for the more aggressive strategy well I think it's more aggressive anyway uh, I'm not sure what other strategy there are there is Max Stappen I'm pretty sure he's starting the softs or the mediums I'm pretty sure they're soft though because he got into Q3 and I don't think you can use the mediums in qualifying, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I think they're on the soft tyres. Uh, we need a good start, because there's a very big, long run-up towards Turn 1. But speaking of which, we've got to be forming up on the grid any second. Well, we are doing it now. And lights will be out any second now. So, we just need everyone to park their cars in their designated locations. But we've got two, three, four, five lights. Lights out, the way we go, that was a really, really, really long wait there. But anyway, we've got the lights so out, and we've been mugged by one of the Renaults, and we also get mugged by one of the other Renaults. Uh, he's got now going, well, he's now past us, but we're going to go round the outside of the Renault, bulldoze into the back of the other Renault, which I think is Sainz. Now going round the outside, which took us to the inside line for Turn 2, and now the outside line for Turn 3. Side by side with Verstappen, we've gone off the track, Verstappen's managed to get a position back. And we're still P8, but we're up the inside of Verstappen in turn four. Someone else follows us. Nico Hulkenberg's follows us in, but we've got Science to head, and we're currently P7. But are we going to try up the inside of Science? He's going very slowly into the right hander, the left hander of turn five. I uh, just said I messed it up a little bit there. Uh, but going on to lap two, here we are slipstreaming one of the Red Bulls. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Dan well, it's Danny Ricardo. We're up the inside, we've got the outside line for turn two, but we've managed to get the move done uh, before turn three. So, which is but fantastic. We're being the Red Bulls now. We're up into P5. We've got the two Ferraris and the two Mercedes just ahead of us. But they're going to be pulling away from us by, like, a lot. Because that's how that they're so, so, so fast. But now lap four. Here comes Danny Rick. He's going to have a DRS as his lap four. Slipstream. Probably rich mix and overtake mode in the ERS deployment. Uh, but we're going to hold it around the outside in turn one. And keep P5. So, yeah, we probably should let them go through to, just so we can, like, lose not as much time. But where's the fun in that, eh? But here we go again on lap five. He's going to go up here inside in turn one. We've left him room on the inside, and, yeah, we've just given him position. Basically what I just said, uh, but we've pro prolonged it for a couple of laps. Um, but we actually now have the next uh, for Red Bull just behind us who's now going to be looking at our rear end instead of his teammates but speaking of which we're going to be looking at his rear end as he goes past us just before the pit exit and he managed to get into p7 sites is now having a look round our inside we're going to go to the outside line we're going to have the inside line for turn two uh, but we don't need the inside line because sites backs out of turn one and we managed to keep p7 we've lost p6 to verstappen though uh which is a bit unfortunate but now lap six into the head and we've gone very very deep Given the start, science a lot of time to gain on us, and um, we're going very deep in the uh, right hander, the long sweeping right hander as well, which gives science a good up chance upper inside into the third to last corner. We're going to do the cutback move, no, we're not. We're going to line him up for the exit of the chicane, get him down the start finish straight, probably. Uh, no, we're not actually, that's scrap that. We're going to go into the pits so on lap six, and I'm going to go into the soft tyres for our first pit stop of the Grand Prix. Uh, 
yeah, we'll probably end up at the back. We're probably going to do what we did in China, because China, if you remember, we uh, come in really early, but we managed to get, like, a really big undercut on everyone else. So, we managed to gain, like, a ton of positions. Like, well, I say a ton. More like two or three. Uh, just by the undercut, which is probably what's going to happen in this Grand Prix. Not sure yet. We are quite far behind Sorokin. But speaking of that, lap, a couple of laps later in lap nine, we've caught the back of Sorokin. His car is so slow around corners. He has no downforce whatsoever. That's why we're pushing him along, basically, here. Get out of the way. He's defended the inside line. We're going to go just round the outside. Just, we have so much more speed than him. And we managed to keep... Well, we managed to move up into P19. Miles off the points, but... It's what you got to do, really, when you uh, are trying to get uh, points and the, when you're trying to get the undercut. But this is a Renault who's parked, who's span on the exit of turn two, and now he's reversed himself onto the gravel. It's Nico Hulkenberg who was fighting before we had a pit stop, so he's dropped down quite a lot. That's moved up in P18, but a couple of cars, Science is now into the pits, the other Renault. So we've managed to get back out in front of him. He's now um, in P18. We've got seven, we're P17, we've got lap 12. We're going to have Slipstream on Ericsson. Standard mode, standard ARS as well. We're just going to go Slipstream, DRS, round his outside. A little bit of contact on his rear left there, but we've managed to get up into P14. As a couple of cars also did pit, uh, which has moved us up into P14. A couple of positions we gained. Lance Stroll now um, on lap 12, end of lap 12. We managed to catch him up so far. The Williams is so slow. Uh, this is going to give us DRS and Slipstream down the start, finish straight. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone, I don't think anyone's pitted yet, but Stroll is now under pressure from us as we're going side by side into turn one, spark it away, we're on the outside line, which I feel is better for the uh, turn one, the outside line, which switches to the inside line, and we managed to get a position done before turn three, so that's fantastic racing from us, we're up in P13 now, but now lap 13, a lap later, we're catching these AI really, really fast, uh, Hulk, uh, Hulkenberg, Hartley's now into the pits in his Toros, so that moves up into P12, Perez is in as well, uh, Grosjean, so we're going to be, we're back into the points, uh, we've moved up into P8 actually, uh, P9, I think I said that, uh, which, I was wrong, it says P9, but now we're P8, and P7, are we going to get Bottas as well? Someone ahead hasn't stopped, I uh, know it was P7 anyway, before I pit stop, what am I chatting, I'm not really sure, but now at 23, under pressure from Carlos Sainz, he's managed to catch us up on his soft, well, newer soft tyres, because he hasn't been on them as long as us, we've been in like 10 laps longer than him, um, which is a bit frustrating, so towards our end of the stint at the next, ground, uh, next stint, we're going to be quite a lot, well, a lot slower, but now at 32, here comes Sainz once again, 19 runners to left in this race, I can't remember who retired, but Sainz has gone round our outside, and I think that might be us losing the position, um, which is a bit unfortunate, so we dropped out the P8 uh, for now, but now at 33, I think that says left, no, lap 33, Grosjean's upper inside, he's locked up, we've, um, like, from miles away, Lunged up his inside and we managed to get P8 back from the Frenchman. Uh, we are allowed lap 33. Um, Science is just pulling away from us. Like, this battling is not good for us. Here comes Fernando Alonso in his home Grand Prix. Upper in, uh, outside. We're still on his inside. He's going to leave us a space back out of the corner. And managed to get up into P... Uh, well, we managed to stay in P8. Which is fantastic. This is like really good points for the McLaren. Um, but now at 34 we are going to be coming into the pits. For our first, uh, second and final pit stop of the race, hopefully we can be a fast one. Hopefully we can do the undercut again like we did on the first stint and just hold those cars behind us. Um, that's why I think we're in P8, at, well P9 currently, but we're pretty much racing for P10. Science is actually in the pits now, so we've actually we've pitted the same time as Science. So Science has managed to stay in front of us, and uh, we've unfortunately lost the position to Science. We didn't, couldn't do the undercut. On a Spanish driver, it is his home Grand Prix, just, uh, well, as well as Fernando's, but we've come out P13, we've got Ocon just ahead of us on that 35, we're going to have six stream, we're going to lunge it up the inside, are we? Yes we are, into the hairpin, like really far back we was there, we've lunged up the inside and we managed to get P12, but now on Leclerc, lap 36, round the outside of the left-hander, Chicane, he's just backed out of the corner, he's let us go past, uh, we map it to P11, we, like, he had just backed out of that. He wasn't brave enough. We go really wide on that corner using that all the curb. Four lines over the part, uh, road. The white line. So I'm surprised it's not a penalty. But we managed to get the position from Leclerc. Which is fantastic. And uh, we're up to P11. One more pace and we've been in top 10. 
But speaking of which, we've managed to catch Sainz up, even though we're on the same set of tyres, and before he managed to overtake us. Uh, actually, no, that's because he's fighting with Perez, maybe. There goes side by side. Sainz has managed to get past Perez. Perez has left off the throttle or something, giving us a free position. Sainz is going very slowly around this right-hander. Is this going to give us a chance to get a double overtake in the first sector of the Spanish Grand Prix? It looks like it. We're going to go up the inside. No, we're not. We just managed to not get a position. It's a bit unfortunate, but are we going to do what we did to Charles Leclerc? Break a little bit later than the AI. Swoop round the outside. He's on the medium tyres, actually. So, um, yeah, I remember recording this. I actually come into pits because I saw kind of sights coming into pits. Now I remember. Remember? But I thought he was going to go on the soft. So I went on the soft. He went on the mediums. And, uh, yeah, that's it. But Lewis Hamilton wins the Spanish Grand Prix. And we're going to come home for a very, very well deserved P7, in my opinion. Uh, long race. But P7 is a very good position to finish a Grand Prix in. Especially in this McLaren, where it's not exactly the best car on the track, I guess. Uh, congratulations to Lewis Hamilton, he comes first. And the two other Ferraris, well, the two Ferraris are on the podium, filling out the other positions. Sebastian Vettel second. Third was Raikkonen. Fourth was Bottas, probably. And then the two Red Bulls, Danny Rick, and then Verstappen, I'm guessing, was sixth and, well, fifth and sixth. Uh, I'm not really too sure, don't quote me on that, but the champagne is flying all over the cars and Lewis Hamilton, I think he's extended his lead in the uh, championship by now, and now I'd like to so I'm not, I'm not really sure if he was leading the championship or not, yeah, Max Chappen actually beat Daniel Rick, so congratulations to him, we was the only last person to get lapped, uh, so we only have to complete 65 laps, Fernando Alonso gets 10th, so that's an extra, well, back up of points, we got 7 points this Grand Prix, so that's going to help us in the constructors as well as the champion uh, drivers championship for us. Uh, we got sixth. Ricardo Sainz come eighth. Uh, Grosjean was ninth. Magnussen was eleventh. I didn't even see Magnussen the whole Grand Prix. I don't think. But Gasly and Leclerc unfortunately DNF. Uh, we've we've stayed in P8, uh, but we're actually currently level on points with Perez. As Lewis Hamilton, no, he wasn't winning the championship. He moves up into second. But McLaren have moved ahead of Force India and moved up into fifth place. I'm pretty sure that was. In the Constructors' Championship. But anyway. Yeah. That's going to be the end of the fifth episode. On my Saving Van Dorn career mode. I haven't actually unlo oh, um, uploaded any of the videos I've recorded so far. This is five videos that I'm waiting to finish the whole season. And then upload. Because I don't want to start a season and not end it like the Jody and Palmer one. Where I took about a year and a half to finish. Um, but yeah. A couple of cars went on free stop strategy. Which is a bit weird. Science went on a free stop. Two stop actually, which is, I thought was a bit strange. A free stop? No, that's. Oh no, don't worry, ignore me. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in Monaco, which should be fun. Which should be a really good Grand Prix for us as well. But anyway, I always suggest going, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.